And now for something completely different. Number 28, the three glass game. Here's kind of a complicated one with three shot glasses. Now, I'm gonna make three movements. Now, each movement I have to do, uh, I have to use both of my hands and I have to use two shot glasses. Now, I have to either turn it upside down or I have to turn it right side up. But I have to do them two at a time, okay? So, three movements. I have to move two at a time, and they have to go from right side up to upside down, or vice versa. Let me show you. All right, so three movements, and they have to all end up, this, <laughs> it's a challenge, I should tell you this, the object of the game is to end up with all the shot glasses facing down. Here, we'll show you how it's done. So, let's try this in three movements. Right? I'm trying to make all of the glasses face upside down in three movements where I have to touch two objects at a one time. So let's try it. It makes more sense when you watch it. So three movements. Number one. How about one and two and three. Did everybody see that? Okay. Let's try that again. So one two, three. Simple, right? All right? Now, now you try it. All right? And here's the solution to the three glass game. Now, the cool part about this, I don't know if you noticed that, if anybody caught that, I'm very, very sneaky here. When I did it, I started with two up. When I presented it to you, I started with two down. But I'm doing so much mixing and changing that most people are not, are not gonna catch that. Right? So when I do it, and I'll do it very slowly here. So one, Two, three. I win. Easy. Very nice and easy. All right. So now, now you try, and you just can't do it. So they'll go one, two, three. Hmm. They'll end up with three up, <laughs> and this will frustrate the hell out of people. And it's you know it makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> So it is kind of a sneaky one because it's, it's a really, uh, I wouldn't take anybody's money for it because you really are cheating. But uh, as actually Trevor, an old doorman from the Roxy used to say, uh, it's not cheating, I'm just using the rules that suit me. So it's a Trevorism. Not my words, you understand. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor.